Hi Virgo, it's Elle here to do your weekly reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It is much appreciated. Please continue to do so. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's go ahead and get into it. Thank you, God, for blessing Virgo with a clear, concise message from you. All right, so this week uh, brings disappointment. The Five of Cups, that's all right. The advice here is the moon, okay? And the outcome is the Four of Swords. All right, so it looks like there, some of you, um, the Five of Cups, all right, so you weren't chosen or you didn't choose somebody. Um, there's disappointment here. It, it, so you can only be disappointed if you have expectation. Okay. So maybe you were expecting something to go a certain way and it didn't. And this could be a relationship. You could be missing someone, um, not wanting to bridge the gap or build the bridge to actually walk back or, uh, go backwards. Um, feeling like there's too much time that has el elapsed between the two of you. This could also be, you know, romantic or friendship. It says that a relationship here is recoverable, but not before you two do the work to actually come back together. So you and somebody else, you and something else, you can't keep crying over what happened or what didn't happen or what was said or what wasn't said, or what was done or what wasn't done. You can't keep going over this. Either you want this person back or you want this relationship back or you want this back or you don't. You have to kind of make you have to be final, you know, definitive in what it is you really want here. There is disruption in your emotional space here. Therefore, there's still feeling. There's still love. There's still likeness there. It's something to explore. The moon card says that um, you could be lying to yourself. The other person is lying to themselves about how they really feel because the moon is about feelings. There's two different, there's two people here. They're very different in how they approach life, how they see things. Uh, one is very calm and reserved and the other one is a firecracker, maybe even wild. Cause it talks about the, um, uh, I think the dog and the, the, um, uh, actually the fox or the wolf that's in that moon card. So one is wild and feral. And then the other one is, um, just domesticated, you know, calm. The both of you bring each other out of your comfort zones for whatever reason. And it, it just could be that you, you're not really trying to understand each other, compute the fact that you kind of make sense of the differences. Therefore, you can move forward. You and somebody else are separated. You're not together. And there's a lot of thinking about this person. A lot of, uh, you know, running your emotions through your thought process or your thought process through your emotions here with the moon card uh surfacing there's some things that went unsaid and then you guys need to have a conversation you and someone else the moon card there's still a lot of unknown a lot of nuances that you just didn't talk about i don't know the outcome here is uh, if you take the advice of the cards, like really um, with the moon card, really um, process your emotions because you really have not, basically is what the moon card is saying. A relationship could be cyclical too, where you guys go in and out. You know, it, it, it can run really hot and it's going good and then it's just cold. Somebody could ghost here too. And it could be that they're ghosting because there's something or somebody else. The outcome here is the four of swords. So there's separation. It looks like it's temporary. You need to think about what the future holds for you in the four of swords. You're at some type of foundation here, but is it what you want? You get to reshape this and rethink this. The swords talk about thoughts, of course, that manifest into words. So you need to think about what the future holds for you and this particular person could be a Libra or what you want here. What is the end game and are you working towards it? Is this person working with you or against you? What do you have to do in order to obtain this? Is this a real, you know, is this a, is, can this goal be realized or is this just a dream? A goal without a plan is just a dream, you know, or just a wish, if you will. 
you and somebody are, are definitely separated and you're thinking heavily about one another and what the future holds and what you'll do. There could have been separation due to infidelity or there was suspicion of infidelity. I don't know what they're doing, but I know that I need to take a break because this is driving me crazy. There also could have been a break because somebody was on the verge of getting found out. This could be disappointing. This could, especially if you're dealing with somebody who's already married, couple, this could be disappointing and uh, devastating to you because you might not be chosen, especially if somebody is married or already coupled. This is what I have for you, Virgo. If it resonates, go over to the website, book there. Ask a question or two by texting it to the number below. You can also donate to the channel by clicking the Buy Elva Coffee link. Find me live here every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Thank you. Many blessings to you. Take care.